Hello everyone, we're finally back at the studio to create you some movement sessions. Uh, this one today is uh, suitable for all levels, for all bodies, so uh, let's get started standing. I'd like you to find a stance that is uh, hip distance apart, and I want you to try and spread your toes out nice and wide, finding that your toes can actually grip the floor a little bit. So if you can spread your baby toe all the way to the big toe, and then try to place them down into the floor. Already you can feel your feet activating a little bit more than before. So from here we're trying to find our center of gravity, arms long by your side. We're going to try and sway forward as we breathe in and we're just going to sway past that center and you can feel how the body and your feet respond to that slight sway and that slight movement. We're trying to keep toes and heels firmly planted. So as you sway forward, try to keep your heels on the floor. As you sway back, try to keep your toes touching. You can do that a few more times. You can already feel the arches of your feet slightly lifting off. You can feel your baby toe pressing into the floor. You can feel that big toe kind of like suctioning into the floor a little bit more, which helps you to elevate your arches. And then from here, we're going to find that center. We may take that side to side, just a little side to side sway. Now, if you want to go all out, you can close your eyes for this one and you can feel your proprioceptors moving and working. We're starting to balance. We can make this look more like a circle. You can do a little circle forward, side, back, ooh, side, and then going and reversing that circle with eyes closed, this becomes something else. We're going to find eventually our center and you can feel your feet are really connected to the floor at this point. Uh, starting to warm up the legs just a little bit and I always like to find a squat as we reach those arms forward. I try to keep my knees pointing over the second and third toe, keeping the arms straight a little bit of that connection to the shoulders and then we start to lift up. We could do eight or 10 here, just moving into that um, hinge. So imagine you have a low bench behind you. You can sit down into that bench without tucking your bum, without overarching that lower back. So your abdominals should be slightly connected right here to help your lower back. And we're gonna go and add three or four more on the inhale, lower, exhale to rise up. We're breathing in and out. Inhale through the nose, exhale through your mouth. And we're gonna do one more and lift all the way up. From here, the arms may reach up to the ceiling. Let's reach those arms, keeping that connection between ribs and hips. So we're trying to not flare those ribs out every time the arms come up. Now, if you feel quite tight through your lats and your obliques, maybe the arms will not end up beside your ears. From here, we're gonna do that a few times. So we're gonna take an inhale, and an exhale. Take an inhale. And an exhale. Feel those ribs wanting to flare out, but we're trying our best to keep those ribs knitted together. Arms stretch up. We'll do another two. And down. One more time, reaching up. And then all the way back down. A few shoulder rolls. And then we're gonna come down to seated. So when we come down to seated, I'd like to start with you sitting nice and tall. We're finding a nice straight line. I always like to use my arms. I'm gonna pull up on my, on my legs just a little bit to feel my arms firing. I can feel my back extensors kicking in. And now I like to think about your shoulder blades pulling together. Unless your shoulders are really hiked up, do not pull them too low. I don't want you to depress those shoulders. I want you to connect to the, uh, the, the midline and feeling the, um, the medial board of your shoulder blades drawing together, which then in turn opens you up through the collarbone. We don't want to depress the shoulder joint, so we're aware of not pulling them too low. As your shoulders connect, you can almost feel that energy line, that energy line through the whole back, reaching up to the ceiling, finding a straight line. Now, hip flexors are a problem. Maybe you can lift your toes off and have your feet flex and it releases your hips a little bit. We're gonna breathe in through the back, into those sides in the back of the ribcage. And as you exhale, engage your pelvic floor. Feel the pelvic floor lifting. Feel your navel draw in. 
Inhale to release that pelvic floor engagement. And then an exhale to find it again. Inhale, release. Think of your pelvic floor muscles as the activator through the deep core. But as we exhale, the pelvic floor starts rising up. Think of it as an elevator lifting up very gently, nothing aggressive. It connects you to your transverse abdominals. You can feel that belly button pull in automatically just a little bit. Think of your transverse abdominals as a motorcycle belt wrapping around your lower back, attached to the bottom of it and the top of the hip and inserting at the front um, the, um, the fascia at the front, the abdominal fascia. And as your pelvic floor lifts and your navel draws in, you can feel that support through the lower back. So enough talking, let's take a few breaths here. Inhale. And exhale. Shoulders connect. Breathing in. Breathing out. Find one more breath. Inhale. And your exhale will then activate your core and it allows you to roll your spine. Turn right back. I'm still using my hands. We're going to use that inhale to rise up and the exhale to allow you to roll back. Inhale to rise up, exhale to roll back. You now if you easily reach your arms forward, inhale. Maybe those arms reach up to the ceiling. And as we exhale, they come back in front of your shoulder and you scoop that lower tummy in. You can feel that C curve happening as you roll part way. Inhale, rise up, arms reach. Exhale to roll back. Inhale to lift. Exhale to roll back. One more time. Use your abdominals to pull yourself up. Stretch up to the ceiling. Open the arms up to the side. And then from there, we're going to roll back. Now, if this is a little too much lever, your arms could go back to the front as you exhale to roll, to roll, to roll, to roll, arms reach back into V. We're gonna feel a stretch through the side body. From there, we're gonna walk our feet back towards our sits bones, arms into V. And all we're gonna do is think about a snow angel. We're gonna bring those arms down towards our hips, palms are facing up. We're gonna circle back and we come back down. Let's lead with your thumbs as you reach back and then back down. Just the top part of the snow angel as we circle the arms part way back and then back towards our hips as at three. Exhale down, two. Exhale down, one more time. Exhale back down, now reach your arms up to the ceiling, taking a breath in as you inhale, just a tiny head nod. We're just trying uh, to lower the gaze and kind of looking towards the uh, ceiling line in front of us feeling the back of the neck lengthening and then as we start exhaling we peel head neck shoulder blades off so just a third of the way maybe thinking of it as just the top part of your spine keeping that slight gap underneath your lower back we're going to breathe in and then exhale the arms float up inhale through the nose we're going to think of a head nod Exhale, we engage that pelvic floor. Our navel pulls in. We feel the lower abdominals firming up to support that lower back, isolating that roll up just through the upper, uh, upper mid thoracic and then lowering back down on your next exhale. We're making this a four breath. Inhale, head nod. Exhale to roll up right away. No pelvis tucking, no engagement through the gluteals, and then an exhale to lower. One more time, breathing in. Exhale to roll part way up. You can look towards your knees. You always want to look forward. You don't want to look up to the ceiling because that's creating so much tension in the neck. We're going to keep looking towards our knees, taking a breath in. Now maybe holding on to the leg again or starting to roll a little further. You can feel that lower back starting to lengthen and tipping into the floor. Our tummy scoops in. We're trying to keep exhaling on the way up to connect us to those obliques and to connect us to the core so that as we roll up, we maintain that C shape 
on the exhale and then on the inhale we stretch all the way back up toward the ceiling and from here we're going to transfer over onto all fours so when we come onto all fours we're trying to get our knees underneath our hips okay and our hands underneath our shoulders i like to i like you to spread your hands out really feel that your fingertips are gripping the floor making sure that we feel fairly connected to our palms and then from there finding a neutral pelvis but keeping a bit of that lower doses that natural arch that we have in the lower back uh, present so we don't want to feel that we're tucking the bum the bum should feel fairly relaxed generally and then we're trying to ground into those arms so watching the shoulders not hanging out i like to cue to push away from the floor a little bit to connect to the shoulder do not push super high and flex your back let's try to find neutral and then from here head is up gaze is down on the mat kind of close to your fingertips we're trying to find that breath in through the nose and as we exhale, our pelvic floor lifts. We want to isolate that, transfer us that TA engagement, navel pulling up to the spine without changing our spine. Inhale to let the belly drop. Ribs expand. Exhale, your navel draws in. Feels like you're putting on a seatbelt. Inhale, let your belly drop. Exhale to engage your core. Keep pressing away from the floor, making sure your shoulders don't collapse. Breathing in one more time. Feel those ribs expanding. Exhale, your belly button draws up. You can feel that firmness between pubic bone and hip bones. On your next exhale, we're going to take this further. We're starting to inhale and prepare. Exhale, we start to slowly tip our pelvis back. You can feel that posterior tilt. You can feel the lower back stretching out. Can we go one segment at a time as we exhale to roll all the way into that cat? Picture that Halloween cat nice and flex. Let your head drop. Breathe into the back on the inhale, the ribs expand. On the exhale, lengthening out tailbone, lower back, mid back upper back, drawing our shoulder blades back, lift your gaze ever so slightly, feel the chest open, your bum sticking out just a little bit. And then as we exhale, we start to reverse it, tailbone, lower back, mid back, upper back, we flex all the way back up. Breathe in, two more, exhale, lengthen. Passing on neutral, finding slight extension, opening up through the chest, Exhale to round lower back, mid back, upper back. Let your head drop, press away from the floor, and then lengthen out tail to head. Passing in neutral again, finding a bit of that extension through the back, making sure it also ends up uh, extending the upper back by drawing your shoulder blades closer together. From there, we're gonna come back to our neutral position. Once we're here in neutral, we're going to keep our we're going to keep our left arm grounded taking that right hand up and off the mat and just taking and hovering it off and then from here we're going to bend that right elbow to the side without changing our hips we're trying to maintain that neutral position we're going to feel like we're threading the needle we're reaching that right arm across underneath that armpit that opposite armpit we can feel our ribcage spiral around the spine keeping your pelvis neutral, and then inhale, come back up. Exhale to rotate. Inhale to return back to where you square. Exhale, twist. Inhale, square off. Exhale, twist. Inhale, square off. One more time. Let's soften that opposite elbow just a little bit. Keep your hips fairly stable, and then come out of it, take an inhale. Now on the other exhale, we're going to bring that hand underneath our forehead. We start to push away from the floor and without shifting the hips, we're opening up to the opposite side. So we're breathing in on this side. Now on the exhale, we thread our needle. We glide our hand underneath our forehead. Inhale to open it to rotation. Exhale to thread your needle. Inhale to rotate. 
one more exhale inhale to rotate push away from the floor and then come all the way back to neutral finding that position again right here spread your fingers out neutral spine and pelvis watching the shoulders not hiking up into your ears from there that opposite hand hovers we're going to bend the elbow towards the side we feel that we're sandwiched in between two walls we try to avoid hips swaying back and forth and on the exhale we twist we feel that arm reaching help us to rotate our ribcage around the spine and then we bring it back on the inhale exhale to twist inhale to come out exhale to twist two more breathing in and stretch that stabilizing arm can soften just a little bit as we rotate one more time now we bring our hand underneath our forehead on the inhale we push away from the mat starting to rotate and on the exhale we start to twist back around inhale to open up exhale to twist two more inhale open up exhale to twist one more and twist and then we come back and sit on your heels both arms stretch out Try to keep your back really straight, finding that length. Feel your head and your fingertips reaching away from your sacrum. Take a few breaths in that stretch, releasing any of the tension that may build up. Now from here, I want to give you a few options. Uh, we could just do that whole sequence on all fours, curling the toes under, making sure our heels are not falling to the side, keeping our heels in line with the big toe, and then our hands underneath our shoulders, pushing into the ground, stabilizing, firing up that serratus. Now from here, breathing in through the nose, we prepare on the exhale. We feel the abdominals draw in, try to stay neutral throughout, carrying that martini glass on your lower back on your pelvis not tipping that glass and then slowly release your knees down what we want to achieve is that we can lift our knees without feeling the lower back we can lower the knees without sinking into our shoulders so we're going to add four more on the exhale find your core engagement to lift those knees an inch or two and then inhale, keeping the shoulders strong, lower the knees down for three. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift for two. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift for one. Inhale, lower. Now we're gonna add a up stretch to this. We're gonna lift those knees and then we start to lengthen our sits bones back. Now, if your hamstrings are on the tighter side, try to keep your knees slightly bent. Aim for those sits bones, reaching them back towards the wall, trying to connect to those shoulders by maybe turning the elbow creases in. Let your head rest in between your arms. And then maybe slowly we start to pedal our heels. One by one, alternating the sides and feeling that straight line throughout your whole spine into the uh, sacrum into the sits bones as our knees pedal the further back we push ourselves the less tension you would feel on your wrist i'm going to go for another four three slowly warming up two one we're going to find that hover again and then we lower all the way back down Breathing in and then rolling up. Now for the next sequence, uh, if you have a flex band at home, you can use your flex band, okay? If not, you can do all the movements without. It's not a problem. Um, for this one, I'd like you to press that flex band just over your hips. Rolling down. What we try to get is that connection to our 
hip extensors, our gluteals, okay? Um, what we don't want is that we're pushing ourselves up from that lower mid back. I want you to feel that connection into your feet. So spread your feet out the way you did at the beginning standing. And then I want you to feel your pelvis is heavy on the mat. In a neutral position, our weight is on our sacrum, on our mid back, the rib cage, on our shoulder blades and the head. There should always be a slight hollow underneath our lower back, keeping um, that neutral position throughout the pelvis right now. Now the flex bend gives us a little bit more spice for the exercise, okay? It spices things up when it comes to your glutes. Um, from here, we're gonna take a breath in, arms are long, opening up through the collarbone. We're trying to stay open. We try not to open up so much that we arch our back. So really connect to our shoulder blades here, pushing the shoulder blades into the floor. On your next exhale, start to connect to your core. Feel the abdominals draw in. Feel your pelvis tip back. At this point, I'm still feeling core only. So I've used my deep core to initiate, used my obliques to shorten ribs to hips, which tips my pelvis back. Now I'm still not feeling any bum right now, so I'm always using my core to initiate. On the inhale, I release back to neutral. Exhale, pelvic floor, transverse abdominals, your navel draws in, you feel your pelvis tipping back, you can feel those ribs gliding down, and then an inhale to release to neutral. The pelvis uh, curls just a few to get your mind into this and to get you to mindfully move instead of just moving back and squeezing your bum or just pushing up from your spine. So think about the sequence of core engagement, superficial obliques, and then in that pelvis curl, you can now sense that your bum wants to connect. So now we're squeezing the lower fold of the bum. We're gonna feel that little smiley face. We're gonna start pressing ourselves up from our glute. And as we start to lift up into that bridge, we want to be aware of our ribs not popping up. Now at this point, I'm trying to reach my knees away from my hips to open up the front of the hip, pushing my big toe into the floor, keeping that traction, knees parallel, all the toes are pressing down. As much as my knees want to open up, I'm trying to keep them somewhat connected there using my inner thighs. Now from here, if this is not enough, you can now drape that flex bend above your hip. You can start to use your lats, pressing the arms down towards the mat. I'm still hovering my hands above the mat right now. And then we're gonna release some of that tension. And as I exhale, pressing down. Inhale, so what that does, it activates that whole posterior chain, feeling my lats working, I'm feeling my gluteals working, I'm feeling my hamstrings working, feeling my triceps working, everything that doesn't work when we're sitting, browsing the news, and then releasing it. Inhale, exhale, press. Release, press for five. Release, press for four. Inhale, exhale, press. Inhale, exhale, press. One more time, soften those ribs, tuck your bum just a little bit more. Then from here, we're gonna reach the arms up to the ceiling, reaching them back over our head. And then from there, starting to roll down one bone at a time, back to neutral, arms float up. Exhale, you start to roll back up. The flex bend will meet your legs. We're gonna press down, breathing in, and then starting to roll back down as you exhale. One bone at a time, the arms are reaching back. Let's do that again, breath in. Exhale, we roll up. The arms will meet the legs, so we're taking an inhale. Now a little bit more work if you shorten that band a bit more. Feel the bum lift you up. Reach into your knees. 
big toes heavy, open collarbone, and then roll down. One more, inhale, exhale. Press down, stay open through the chest, find the length through the back of the neck, watching that we're not looking back right now, we want to look toward the ceiling in front of us, keeping your chest open. Now we're going to pump those arms down. You can pump them for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold it, one. Think about a yoga block between the knees right now, watch that, and then find that next exhale, arms will float up, upper body rolls down one by one, Rolling through each segment of the spine and then releasing back to your neutral. We can drop the flex band. We're going to bring our hands behind our head. We're trying to stay open through the collarbone. And instead of pushing the head forward, we're trying to imagine that our spine is currently lengthening. It lengthens all the way from the tailbone throughout each segment and out the crown of the head. So as we start to lift up on the exhale, we try to feel that we're lengthening the arms, the shoulders, and our thoracic spine. They're one unit. We're going to roll up. And we're currently lifting. You can see a little shaking happening from our obliques and our rectus, pulling us up to here. I'm not lifting any further where around my lower back, trying to keep my neutral pelvis. From there, the inhale lowers you. And the exhale, imagine you're lengthening. Inhale to release. Exhale. Inhale to release. As I start exhaling, I want to feel my pelvic floor lift up. I'd like to feel my transverse abdominals drawing in and around my lower waist looking towards my knees, trying to get those ribs to come down until I can't go any further without tilting my hips. And then releasing down. Let's add a few more. Try to feel that length as you lift. And release. Two. And release. One more time. Lifting one leg into tabletop. Now let's think of a pelvis as a yoga block, a heavy block. We're trying not to tip the pelvis back and forth, but instead we're trying to get that opposite shoulder and rotate. I'm always a big fan of reaching the arm across, feeling the outside of the knee, because it helps us to find that forward flexion in that twist. We don't want to open up to the side too far. We don't want to do anything with that bottom elbow. In fact, we want to keep that elbow the same and then we're getting that opposite shoulder rib to hip. Now this is what we're going to do, keeping the pelvis in neutral. Taking an inhale as we come back to the center, we're flexed right now. On the exhale, we find a rotation. Inhale, center. Exhale, rotate. It's a very small rotation. It comes with a bit of a forward lift. Can we go for another two? One more. Bring our hands behind our head. Lower your foot. Do not lower to the floor. Come all the way back to the center. We're still lifting. Only if you truly have to lower, you can lower down for a second. Lift the opposite leg up. Still in a neutral position. We're going to now twist across. That bottom elbow doesn't change. The top arm touches the outside of the knee. And then we come back, center yourself, hold your flexion. Exhale to twist, inhale, center for four more. Inhale, exhale for three, inhale, exhale, two, keeping your pelvis in neutral. One more time, holding it here, we're lifting just a little higher and then we lower our foot down. 
we come all the way back to the center and if you feel you have some juice left we may come up a little higher this is the moment you want to use your neck too much now if this is the case and you feel the neck we start to reach one arm if you don't feel the neck is a problem add that lever and start lifting by adding another eight seven feel that bottom rib pull you forward and up for four three two one more that was a totally messed up count holding it here and then release it all the way back down arms relax arms in fact could go out to the side the Cadillac is amazing for me to add that nice deep chest stretch if you're on the floor this will feel the same we're going to reach that top leg across and then an exhale find your core engagement use your core to bring your legs back over to the other side and across and then we bring it back we're going to hug one knee to the chest the other leg stretches out maybe reaching it up to the ceiling Take a peek to the other leg. Is it in line with your hip? Making sure it comes right in line with your hip here. We bend it in and we stretch it just a few times. Does it feel so nice? And then we switch our legs around. Other leg in line with your hip. Ooh, this is a little tighter. We're gonna bend it into the chest and reach it up just a few times. one more time and we can use that leg to roll ourselves off the mat now here's when the flex band could come in quite handy you can do all the movements without a band um, you will feel the muscle groups firing almost the same just adds a little bit more resistance to it so if you're sitting here bring that flex band and place it just around your feet now from there i'd like you to cross your flex band um, with your legs fairly straight dish okay and have a soft bend in the knee if you like feet are flexed up toward the ceiling opening them just wider than hip distance so feeling a bit of outer hip tension and engagement through the side then from here shortening that band so that you have a bit of tension to begin with you want to imagine you're sitting up against a wall so you don't slouch back uh, we don't want to lean forward too much we're trying to find energy and reach up to the ceiling again find a really long spine palms are facing down towards the floor we're going to feel our shoulder blades melting together at the back so we can feel the chest open up and on the exhale leading with your elbows we're going to start rowing back the inhale releases the arms forward if you feel the shoulders connect before we row so that we don't start rowing with our shoulders tip forward so we're going to add about eight more here start to connect row elbows wide they may end up in line with your shoulders right here inhale for seven inhale for six and release five the moment you start pulling, lengthen towards the ceiling. And three, stretch up tall. And two, and one, pulling it here. Now from there, we're still in a straight line. As we start to pull, however, it activates our upper back. So on your next inhale, start to lift your chest toward the ceiling try not to let the head hang back too far think about your heart lifting up to the ceiling and then the exhale returns us just to neutral and it's an inhale that lifts us we can pull into that a little further to help us and then reverse neutral inhale pull and lift exhale neutral inhale pull and lift neutral one more time for those 
sofa sitters, we're going to start lifting, lifting, lifting up. And then release it. And release the arms. Hug your knees to the chest. Breathe into the back. And roll up. From there, we're going to add a little bit more arm work. Anything that we do in a flex position, meaning your lower back rounding back, could be done in a hinge if you're um, if you have a precondition when it comes to disc injuries. Um, you can lean into this into one straight line or otherwise we start to roll back and again it's an inhale to rock up it's an exhale to roll away from your femur feel that tummy scoop in almost feels like it's pushing you back and lift next one we're going to stay we may hold it here now i'm going to shorten that a little bit okay we may have our palms face in setting our shoulder blades at the back so upper back is engaged the lower core is scooped in we're going to start exhaling pulling our hands towards our shoulders as we exhale i want to feel my tummy scoop in before i pull up find that core support before you load it up and we don't go for eight more Maybe 10. Exhale. Inhale. Inhale. We go for another four. And three. And two. One more time. And then we dive over our knees. Stretch our legs all the way out. Open them a bit wider. We're going to slide our hands back on that flex band and reach the arms back. So let's say we're going to open up our chest right here. Feel our triceps working to extend the arm. Try not to have the shoulders collapse forward, opening up through that. On the inhale, we start to circle the arms forward part way, just about to where we would feel we lose contact with the flex band. And then as we exhale, we scoop our tummy in, we circle the arms back, keeping your palms faced in. Now this could be easily done in a straight line. We're going to reach the arms forward and then we circle back. Let the arms move forward. Inhale. Exhale. Palms face the way back. Inhale. Exhale. This is actually really glorious to sit up nice and tall and open the arms like that. You can feel the back is working lifting the arms you can always release some of the tension making this a little easier and again last three and for two one more time so you can feel the emphasis upper back shoulders versus here i find it's almost more of a hamstring stretch you can lift up you can dive forward you can lift up, you can dive forward, you can end up lifting, pulling, and releasing, Whew. and then releasing that. All right, from here, we're going to finish off, if you can, sitting in that beautiful mermaid stretch or mermaid position, okay, front leg in front of you, other leg bend back. Now, that's really grippy in the hip, you can always shove a pillow underneath that one sit bone or you can have your feet just in front of you like so cross-legged is another option so one two three whichever that works okay whichever one works for you starting with the uh, arm on my left leg left leg taking that arm forward and up breathing in finding that straight long line i want you to really open up we're going to lengthen to the ceiling before we side bend. Taking it up, releasing it down. Reach it forward and up, opening up. Allow the shoulder to come up a little bit. Don't depress the shoulder because it makes your elbow bend 
and you don't feel that stretch, shoulder is allowed to come up a little bit, stretching that arm, and over, lifting, releasing. Yes, you can bring your arm out to the side and up. If that bothers your shoulder, reach forward and up. And lift to release. Swing your legs around. And then finding an even weight, or let's say finding um, a square pelvis, first of all, two hip bones shining forward, shoulders, ribs, and hips stacking. Feel that you're weighted on that one single sit bone over here. And then taking the arm up, either sideways or forward. Find your length, feel that energy rise up before you take it into your side bend. Lift it and release. Again. You can feel each rib opening up, creating that space, breathing into that side, and lift. Let's do two more. And lift, one more time. Lift it up, and release. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I hope you learn something new, um, try to do these videos as often as you can, uh, try to improve on the movement, um, making things more challenging by focusing on the details a little bit more. Um, otherwise, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.